Hello to all the gamers and welcome to my channel and don't go away because I've been asked by one gamer who has seen my channel and is following me. Uh, he subscribed. There's a little hint for everybody if you like this video, my reaction to subscribe to my channel. Because what I found is, even though this is world music, more and more people are coming on board and saying, I love your reactions, but nobody's really reacting to gaming music in the way that you're doing it, which is flattering for me. And I'm up for a challenge because I'm like people of a certain age, let's, let's call myself a mature man, that loves, because as a music reactor, I love all music from around the world, all genres are on my channel from amazing artists. But anyway, back to today's video. Now it's Phoenix featuring Kotlin Russo and Chrissy Costanza. And they're singing the 2019 League of Legends gaming song. And it got phenomenal reaction. And in this particular League of Games community, there is 5.1 million people. And I said, well, I'm not really into all of these games. But again, the argument came back, hey, you've covered Valor Calling from the Vikings, you've covered The Witcher, um, please cover this. And I said, okay, and I've covered more recently um, NF and Hopskin, and fantastic response. The only thing I can say is, I'm very much into the music, I'm very much into what the lyrics are about, and what stands out, and what I interpret interpreted it to be. Now you gamers might be out there and go, God, this man is so off key. He hasn't a clue about what this is about. Maybe I don't, but I've been asked to do a music reactor's reaction again for it. So I am looking forward to taking it away right now, being quiet and just reacting the way I normally react. I always give my interpretation. So this is what I say to everybody gamers, Every song is open to interpretation. It would be a boring world if we all thought the same song meant something the same to everybody. How boring would that be? We're not like that. We're all individuals. We all pick up on words. We all pick up on the vibe. We all pick up on the music and what it's portraying. And even if I don't follow the gaming League of uh, Legends, I know about it. And for all those that um need a bit more information go to my description and check it out and check the link and follow it through because i'm sure you will i've been told it's epic it's exciting and it's helped a lot of people what that means i don't know it's my first time reacting to this but i'm going to say um Callen russo and chrissy costanza not cotling Callen russo and chrissy costanza are the two main singers in this. That's all I know for now. Deep breath. I hope I do you all justice out there to your wonderful community. Take it away, girls, boys, girls, boys, girls. What you gonna do now? It's your reflection looking back to pull you down. So are you gonna die today? Make it out alive. You gotta come to the monster in your head, and then you'll fly, fly, Phoenix fly. It's time for a new empire. Go bury your team. You 
gonna do now? It's your reflection looking back to pull you down. So are you gonna die today? Wow, that was shorter than I thought, first of all. I, I don't know what the gaming concept is, but I'm probably going to challenge all you gamers out there and say, this is a song for me straight away that had powerful, powerful lyrics, which I didn't expect so much in... Um, a cartoon character or that's probably wrong to say cartoon in a gaming caricature of whom I'm going to call Phoenix is the woman I take it you can all correct me because I'm going to learn with the League of Legends community here a lot I would say this song helps a lot of people I it struck me that if you listen to the lyrics a lot it's a song that empowers you mentally if you suffered mental stress we have a pandemic on at the moment. You all know that, gamers. And one of the things the gamers have learned is they can continue with their gaming in the gaming community. It's one of those vibrant, how can I put this, communities during a pandemic that hasn't died, if you excuse that phrase at the end. It's it's just continued and continued. Um, I see it with The Witcher, I see it with Valor Calling, now I see it with this. But The Phoenix, to me, she and I take it it was the female in this she had that ball and I always you know I did him a mood it's on my channel just in the last two days of his latest video and he reflects a Japanese character Inisha and it's got the ball as well the ball is very significant I'm starting to find in a lot of these gaming uh, songs and people of inspiration and that is the ball. It can be a ball of energy where you get energized and it helps you. It can be a ball where you keep all your, your anger and your evil, evil inside, the bad side to you, the demons inside you is all kept in the ball and it controls you to be calm on the outside and be able to get on with what you need to get on. Phoenix strikes me as a character that has to, a lot of um, saving the world to do. But she doubts her power, she doubts herself, don't we all? You can relate to that. It's a song of, um, it's like a calling. When all the, when all the, when I seen them walking and, and one of the guys was changing into Phoenix almost, it's that crystallized ball of power that you can absorb and become. Because it's almost like a calling to the gamers in the world, you're not alone. It's a calling song. It's like a chant. And you've got to conquer the monster in your head and then you'll fly. Don't we all have monsters in our head? Don't we all have mental issues? Don't we all fight? Um, whether it be a love thing, whether it be uh, losing your job, whether it be somebody dying close to you, whether it be 
you you were applying for uh, something in life or struggling through college or whatever it can be we have monsters in our head that say oh you know I don't know if I can do this I don't know if I should be doing that it's like the yin and the yang and how do you balance it you you put all your focus into like Phoenix this ball of encouragement and you absorb it and then you can conquer those demons in your head and you will fly and I think the words would help a lot of people with mental illness because we all need to hear those kind of words do you know what I find I find a lot of teenagers and younger people would be into the League of Legends and to all you younger people I'm saying you know it's very disparaging from older people to think that younger people don't suffer mental issues we, we almost think it's an older thing but people on all levels suffer it so it's a song of empowerment through the lyrics I find as well um, I, I'd say this game is it, judging by the video very visual um, I don't know the song speaks to the spiritual level and remember you know we all are you gonna make it out alive to conquer the monster in the head and you'll fly is one of the things I'm going to take away from this video it's um, you know we all as adults always look at people doing gaming in a very negative way we do we think oh they're addicted to that it's bad for them um, what good will come out of it but when you learn just like that of there's leagues there's teams it's more there's a whole community I'm glad I reacted to this I'm, I'm not part of your community um, you are up here I am so so trying to climb the first step of this League of Legends ladder to get an understanding but after listening I can understand why nephews nieces cousins are all gaming today and they get a lot from the songs and they follow the songs I can see why because if it's anything like this song it's a song of empowerment, it's a song that will take you to the next level. And if you're all holding